So once in a while, my truck just makes a single click when I go to start it up. And this is due to a dead spot in the starter uh, where the contacts were worn. There it is. I've already cleaned the battery terminals. That helped a little bit. And if I give the starter some good taps with a hammer, sometimes it will start right up. That's a sure sign that the starter is going bad. So today I'll show how to replace the starter on a Toyota truck with the 22R and 22RE engine. Disconnect the positive battery terminal. If you look way back in there, way back in there, there's the starter. So I'm going under the right side of the truck behind the front wheel. There is the starter behind these wires, which I don't even know why. These are just sitting here like this. Move these out of the way for now. I'll secure those later. Under this cover is the positive terminal. Pull this back to expose the 12 millimeter nut. And this other wire, I can just pull this out by pressing this clip in right here. Let's go over here. Let's take a look at this 22RE I've got over here so you can actually see the bolts. Here's the lower bolt and the terminals and there's the upper bolt or nut. It's actually a nut that threads onto a stud in the bell housing. You can't really see the upper nut at all when doing this with the engine in the truck. Grab a tiny flathead, push in this tab and the wire comes right out. We'll look through the wheel well, and I'll disconnect the positive terminal. And there it is. For the mounting bolts, I'll need a 14 millimeter socket and a longer ratchet to break them loose. So that didn't work. I need some longer extensions to reach the upper nut. And I have to go from the front of the engine bay where there's room to turn the ratchet. I had to rebuild my contraption a couple of times to get it to fit just right. This guy is kind of a pain to remove with the engine in the truck. So I'll show you on this engine how I did it. 14 millimeter universal socket, long extension. You could probably remove the oil filter for clearance, but I use another universal joint. Then another longer extension and long ratchet. That first extension is eight inches and the second one is 10 inches. The lower bolt can be reached using just extensions and a socket, no universal joints needed. Here's the lower 14 millimeter bolt. And then I could finally remove the starter. I grabbed a couple of starters from my parts collection, linked to my OEM parts stores in the description. And this one is the original factory starter. This one does not look OEM to me. This one does. You can see it has the same breathers on the bottom as the old one does. And it's already been remanufactured, so it should have plenty of life left. I already bench tested it with a battery and it works. First, I set it in place and let it hang on the upper stud. Then I threaded the nut on by hand to get started and put the 14 millimeter universal socket of my contraption on the nut and went to the engine bay where there was room to turn the ratchet. I've hand tightened the lower bolt in place through the bracket for the clutch line. And now connecting the two wires to the starter and last, a zip tie to secure those hanging plugs. Reconnect the battery. All right, now for the moment of truth. No more clicking. What? Nothing. I'll double check the connections. Everything's good. No, it seems seized. Not even a click. It worked before I installed it. Son of a bitch. Well, that's how to install a starter on a Toyota 22R and 22RE. Hopefully, yours works. Thanks for watching. I'm not about to install another starter today, 
So I just gave this one about 20 good taps with a hammer. So let's see if it just needed a little convincing. Yes. Awesome. I think we're good. Thank you, hammer. I don't know what that was about, but it's good now. Maybe it was just bound up or something. Do me a favor and hit that thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And consider subscribing for more how-to videos and project vehicle updates here at the 6th Gear Garage. Thanks for watching. Hey, there's a link to my store in the description where you'll find all kinds of rad Yoda merchandise like shirts, hoodies, posters, phone cases, and a lot more. Thanks to everyone out there who supports the channel. It really means a lot to me to see people wearing something I designed.